What's going on everybody? It's me, Heroic Brick Studios, and I am back with another Top 10 LEGO Minifigures video for you guys. Now, I think the last Top 10 video I did was the Top 10 LEGO Marvel Villains. So, today I wanted to do the Top 10 LEGO Marvel Heroes. Now, Marvel has some of like the coolest superheroes out there, and some of the most popular characters in pop culture right now, and that's thanks to mostly the MCU, and obviously, you know, the X-Men have their own cinematic universe. Uh, Fantastic Four, not so much right now. Um, I do hope that, that will change eventually. And uh, pretty much, <laughs> you know, uh, LEGO has released dozens and dozens of LEGO Marvel minifigures. And a lot of them have been heroes. Some of them have been alternate variants. Some have been... Uh, movie versions, comic versions, whatever. So I decided to take those countless minifigures and condense them down into my own personal top 10 list. So if you guys have a different top 10 than me, that's perfectly fine. You know, I don't care if you have your own opinion, but let me know down in the comments what your favorite LEGO Marvel superhero minifigure is. So uh, yeah, I think without further ado, let's get right into this top 10 list. Starting off at number 10, we have the Hulk Big Vig from 2014. Now, this set, or this figure came in, I forgot the name of the set, but it came with MODOK, Taskmaster, uh, the comic book looking Thor that was just in the intro, and it had a really good uh, comics uh, Falcon. So, that set was really cool. It came out in 2014, and I remember I actually used this Big Vig in a mock that I did in 2014. Oh, that was kind of bad now that I think about it. But this Hulk Big Fig just, it screams comic accuracy. And if you guys have been uh, subscribed to my channel for long enough, you guys know that I'm a sucker for all things comic looking. So, like, pretty much when Lego decides to make comic look comic book looking minifigures, I absolutely fall in love with it. And this Hulk Big Fig is no is no exception, and I'm pretty sure he might be the epitome of what I'm talking about. And you know, with the Hulk, it's not that difficult. I mean, you just have like the green skin, you have the pants molded over it, and I just love how this is pretty much just Jack Kirby's Hulk. You know, uh, he's green, and then with the purple pants and everything, and the angry expression, it's just so cool. This is easily my favorite Hulk Big Fig. Now I know uh, a lot of people like the Gladiator Hulk Big Fig from Thor Ragnarok. That's my second favorite, but this one will always be my number one for me. So that is it for number 10, so let's move on to number nine. Moving along to number nine, we have She-Hulk. Now, in case you guys don't really know a whole lot about She-Hulk, uh, she's actually Bruce Banner's cousin, who I think in a blood transfusion, I think, had to get some of Bruce's DNA inside of her because like she was really sick or something, she needed a blood transfusion and Bruce was the only eligible donor. And thus as a result, she became She-Hulk. Now, I don't I don't know, that's really all I know about She-Hulk. Uh, she hasn't been featured a whole lot in like mainstream media recently. Kind of just like just in the comics and the Lego and the Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 game. But She-Hulk is still a really great figure. It's just a lot of nice printing. Like, this is just seamless printing from the torso down to the legs. And she uh, has great printing on the sides of her legs. Like, you could almost think that this would be, like, dual-molded legs, but they're not. But it still looks great. She-Hulk is awesome. Uh, it's an awesome figure. And I think you guys should pick it up if you guys are big LEGO Marvel collectors. Because I know I did, because I really wanted the figure. So... That is it for number nine, so let's move on to number eight. Moving along to number eight, we have the Scarlet Witch minifigure from the Avengers Age of Ultron sets. Now, I absolutely love those Avengers sets, and I remember I actually reviewed the set that Scarlet Witch came in, so you guys can go and check that out on my channel if you want to. Mind you, the quality is pretty bad in my opinion, but I remember I got the set like a week early uh, off of Amazon for retail, so I thought, you know, get the review out, because I just thought it was awesome. And this figure is so accurate to the movie. Now, obviously, you know, I've heard the complaint, you know, use, like, the, the other hair piece for Scarlet Witch. And they corrected it for the Civil War one. But personally, I just prefer the Age of Ultron minifigure. And she just looks so great. Like, 
this like her outfit is spot on to the movie and it just looks great you know obviously this is before lego started to like really utilize like the side printing for the legs or even dual molding even though they came out with it and like for the superheroes line like later that year in 2015 but aside from that that is it for scarlet witch so i think we're all done for number eight so let's move on to number seven Moving along to number seven, we have Captain America from the Avengers Age of Ultron sets. Now, the Age of Ultron sets, when those came out, they had so many updated variants of, like, all the characters, and Captain America, in my opinion, was the best one. You know, aside from Iron Man, like, the Iron Man figure was cool, but Iron Man's always upgrading his stuff. So, the fact that we got, like, a really good-looking Captain America, it just looks awesome. And... It's pretty accurate to the way that he looks in Age of Ultron. Now, I remember that LEGO repurposed this figure again for the Civil War sets, but honestly, there wasn't really enough differences in the suit to warrant a new figure, so I think it was perfectly fine to get it like two years in a row, and plus I think I have like four of these figures now. So it's pretty nice, and they're good collector pieces. So uh, aside from that, I think that's it. So aside from number seven, let's move on to number six. Moving along to number six, we have the Captain Marvel minifigure from the Avenget Space Mission uh, from January of 2016. Now, when I heard that we were getting Captain Marvel and Thanos in the same set, I lost my mind. And I'm pretty sure that this was a part of the Avengers Assemble line, but it's still pretty accurate to the comics and more accurately her more recent interpretations of the comics you know where she has like shorter hair she has this red mask on over her face and honestly I think Lego did a great job on this figure and uh, that's why I have it here on this list you know this is one of my favorite Marvel figures that we have right now and next year for the Captain Marvel movie I'm very excited to see what uh, Lego has to offer for the figures and I'm pretty sure that we could be getting a first look probably in the next few months or so. So I think that is it for number six. So let's move on to number five. Starting off the second half of this list, at number five, we have Wolverine. Now, this Wolverine figure came out in 2012, and it came in the set with Deadpool's helicopter and the first time we ever got Magneto. That is honestly like one of my favorite Marvel sets of all time because I'm a big X-Men fan. Like I love the X-Men and it's really a shame that Lego won't really make any more X-Men sets. Like we got the Blackbird in 2014. I don't really count the Mighty Micros as actual sets. So that one doesn't really count to me, but I would really love to see like more X-Men sets. So maybe if Disney uh, gets a hold of the movie rights for the X-Men or even the Fantastic Four, we could finally get them all in Lego form, which would be absolutely amazing. But for now, this figure is just so great. It's so accurate to the comics. You know, he's got like the folded, uh, he's got the mask like off, you know, folded over his back. It just looks great. You know, the silver claw pieces are awesome, like the adamantium claws. The face is perfect. The hair is perfect. Pretty much everything about this figure is perfect to me. And I prefer this one over the 2014 one, you know, it was like the yellow and brown. Because, personally, the yellow and blue, like, 90s style, kind of Jim Lee art looking one will always be my favorite. So, that is it for number five, so let's move on to number four. At number four, we have Ant-Man. Now, this is the Ant-Man minifigure from the first Ant-Man set back in 2015. Now... For some reason, I just, I prefer this one over the Ant-Man and the Wasp one because, I don't know, I really like the first Ant-Man movie and I guess I just have, like, you know, more uh, fond memories, like, of around that summer. You know, like, I really enjoyed Brick Fair 2015 and I remember I saw this movie with my buddy Ross, Michael and GF, and I think just getting the set in general was just really exciting for me. You know, I was really excited for this set. When I first saw the pictures and the fact that, you know, we were actually getting a Lego Ant-Man was just mind-blowing to me. So, that's why I have Ant-Man so high on this list. He has just a lot of printing. He's really cool. He's a great figure. And, you know, I just love the silver and the red. I just love all the extra details on this figure. So, that is it for number four. So, let's move on to number three. At number three, we have Star-Lord. 
Now, this Star-Lord figure came back in 2014, and he was actually in the cheapest Guardians of the Galaxy set. It was, uh, it was him, it was Star-Lord, a Sakaran soldier, and it was a Nova Corps officer in, like, one of the Nova fighters, which was pretty cool. The set was great, in my opinion, and I absolutely love Guardians of the Galaxy. It's easily in my top three favorite MCU movies, and... I also just have a lot of fond memories of the first Guardians of the Galaxy, but this figure is so good in my opinion. It's just like the details of like the long coat going down to the legs. This is the first time that we got like the Star-Lord uh, helmet mold and then the his blasters. Then here on the back, you know, with his backpack, we saw like he had the orb in there, that's what that shape is. And this set overall was cool and the figure was just so perfect in my opinion. But that is it for number three, so let's move on to number two. Coming in at number two is the Silver Centurion Iron Man figure. Now, this figure came out as a GameStop pre-order bonus for the LEGO Avengers video game back in 2016. And I'm pretty sure that some people will actually put this figure at their number one, and I almost put it at my number one, but uh, I still like one figure more than this. Iron Man is a cool character. And, you know, he has all the cool suits and stuff, but this is obviously, like, the best suit that LEGO has made for Iron Man. It's just, like, all the printing and all the details that went into this are just fantastic. And I'm so, so in love with this figure, so... That's pretty much all I really have to say. Like, I know it's kind of short, but... Um, yeah, this is easily, like, my favorite LEGO Iron Man figure. Last year I did the top ten... Uh, Lego Iron Man minifigures, and this was my number one for good reason, but in general, it doesn't quite have what it takes for me to be the number one. So that is it for number two, so let's get in to the number one figure. Now, for number one, for my number one all-time favorite Lego Marvel superhero minifigure is the Wasp from Ant-Man and the Wasp. I'm just kidding, this is a horrible figure. This is my all-time favorite LEGO Marvel Hero minifigure, and that is Spider-Man from the Spider-Man Homecoming sets. Now, Spider-Man Homecoming completely blew me away. Like, it is my favorite, st uh, it's my favorite Spider-Man movie, even more than Spider-Man 2, and I don't know why. I just, I loved Spider-Man Homecoming, and I was really... Uh, <laughs> I was really glad to see him again in Infinity War, despite that ending. Uh, not really spoilers at this point, because everybody's made a meme of it. But, this figure is just perfect, in my opinion. You know, you got the arm printing, you got the overmolded legs, uh, you got printing, like, on the fronts of the legs, and the Spider-Man suit is just so awesome and so unique, and LEGO took it and absolutely hit it out of the ballpark with this figure. And that's why he is at my number one. So that is it for this top 10 list. So let's get in to the closing of this video. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a like. It really helps the channel. And if you guys like this kind of content, you know, you guys can go down below. You can hit the subscribe button, maybe even ring the notification bell so you guys never miss a video and uh, for the foreseeable future for now this is probably going to be my last Marvel themed video I kinda wanna get back into some DC stuff and starting next week I will probably start doing that so <laughs> uh, it'd be really cool and I have a nice video planned I have another one planned after that and then I have a couple more reviews that I think I wanna do and then I'm actually going away on a trip for a little while, and then uh, I'm going to showcase my updated Hall of Justice mock. Yeah, I know, third year in a row, but uh, I do have more stuff planned. You guys just got to st uh, stick with me here. I have two or three more videos that I have planned also that, didn't, that I didn't think of until recently. So stay tuned for those. But again, thank you guys for watching, and until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.